with Golden Gate Security. I'm making this video for you. So here's a quick overview of how to use the app on Alarm.com. Um, first of all, download the app. It's called Alarm.com. It's a silver looking application. And this is what you see when you're going to log in if you have multiple uh, Z-Wave devices. If you just have the alarm system, that's all you're going to see is just the very top where it says security system. Um, on the very top right hand corner, you're going to see all your history by the way. There's a, a three little uh, tabs with a check mark on there. You just click it and you'll notice all the things that's going on today. This is my house, so uh, I can see what time the door unlocked, locked, panel disarmed, doors opening, closing, garage doors, motion detectors being detected, all that stuff. Even when the system is off, it's kind of like having cameras uh, without having them. You can see the history of all the devices. So if you want to arm your system, you're just going to click where it says panel disarm. It's going to give you two options, stay and away. If you're at the house, you hit stay. Or if any, any pets are going to stay in the house, you hit stay. And when nobody's at the house, you hit away. The difference from the two is one will activate the motion and one won't. Stay mode turns all the motions off, but every other sensor is on. Uh, on away, it turns on all the sensors except the motion, uh, uh, and also the motion detector. Um, okay, so there's a, a little square with a no entry delay right above the arm and stay. If you click that and you check it, you can choose to hit stay and away. Um, if you do, just keep in mind that there is no entry delay. So as soon as the door opens, the alarm system will trigger. So that's used a lot at uh, if you're going on vacation, nobody's supposed to come to your house. So nobody should have any type of 35 second uh, time delay where they can put their code in. It'll instantly go off right away. Um, I use this one at nighttime especially. So if me and my house, I mean, if me and my wife are at the house and we're going to go to sleep, I leave it checked and then I hit stay. It'll arm your system, uh, but at nighttime, if anybody were to break in, my siren will instantly go off right away. As you see on the very bottom, it says panel was armed, stay successfully. You'll get a message saying that as well. Mm -hmm. um, okay, cool. So if you do have the door lock, um, I have two at my house, the front and the back. Uh, I'm, I'm Right now, my front door is unlocked. It'll tell you, it'll, it'll also be a solid green color. If I wanted to lock my front door, I just tap it where it says front door uh, lock and I lock it and by doing so give it about 10 seconds or so it'll automatically lock mine locked right away uh, it turns solid red it means it's fully locked um, if you do have a garage control uh, this is the <clears throat> excuse me for the overhead garage door if you do have that option all you have to do is click it and click open and it'll automatically open your overhead garage door okay so that is an add-on feature and also lights um, I have bunch of lights in my house that I did little by little but if I wanted to turn all of them off I just hit off all of them start turning off little by little or if I wanted to turn on all of my lights you just hit the little on button on the right and all the lights will turn on uh, let me turn them off before um, my wife is wondering why all the lights are turning off and on uh, okay cool so um, that's for lights the cool thing is once you have all of these things set up uh, uh, thermostats and uh, lights is when my alarm system goes off um, or at nighttime, I hit one button and that one button will automatically uh, say sleep mode. It'll turn on my alarm. It'll turn off my inside lights. It'll lower my thermostat to 67 degrees. Uh, it'll close my big garage door if I left it open. It'll lock my two door locks if I left them unlocked. So that's where the automation uh, takes place where you can kind of control all the features. Um, for thermostats, if you do have a thermostat and you want to lower the thermostat, simply hit the down arrow one time or how many ever times you want for uh, lowering it certain degrees. If I want to put it 73, that's it. And all of a sudden at my house, the AC will kick on. If I wanted to turn my uh, uh, thermostat off, you just click on thermostat tab on the very uh, top where it has a little right arrow. And you'll notice that the, the mode is cool. Four minutes ago, my temperature at the house is 73. If I wanted to completely shut off the AC, I click the mode cool and hit off. Hit set and automatically my uh, uh, thermostat will, uh, will just completely turn off. Then you hit the back button, you go back to the main screen. Uh, you have your video doorbell. Um, if you press that, you'll see me there walking out. That was uh, maybe this morning or yesterday. But if I wanted to see live, you know, from the front video doorbell, if you turn your phone sideways, you can see a bigger clip. Uh, and that's live. Anybody tries to come to my house, ring the doorbell, um, not only can I view them live, I also get a message saying somebody rang my doorbell. And you can also talk to them on the very top right hand uh, 
little microphone button if you press and hold and you can say oh no thank you I'm not interested or you know what go ahead and leave the, the box right there I'll pick it up in a little bit um, you can talk to them as well they can't see you but you could see them but both of you guys can communicate to each other and if you do have a lock uh, the middle button where it shows a lock there if you have family coming in to visit um, and you want them to to come inside and you're stuck in in traffic in the Houston traffic uh, and you're gonna be late you can say you know what let me click this little button here and while you're talking to them you can unlock the front door click unlock so while you're talking to them uh, the system will automatically unlock the front door for you so uh, that's pretty much it let's go back to the main screen mm. Uh, let's see. Oh, add a uh, geo service. You click on the three buttons at the very top on the left hand side, and you want to add a geo service if you have like locks because you'll get reminders uh, or thermostats. Once you pass your uh, house more than one mile, you can get a message saying, Hey, you left your fr uh, front door unlocked, and you can lock it right away from your phone, or you left your your house um, lower your thermostat or you know put it higher whatever be the case so just click on geo service and make sure that this little toggle is switched on okay so turn it on and also for protection services it's always good to have your passcode and your fingerprint set so you can turn that on you can create a code let's just say uh, 1234 you hit it again and then that's your code to get into your app now as well as the fingerprint so if you're trying to get in uh, and you left or you leave your phone somebody nobody can get in unless they do the fingerprint or they put that four digit passcode um, and that's pretty much it so if you have any questions feel free to give us a call uh, 281-777-0300 talk to you later hope this video was helpful